up Pisces this is evolving wisdom and yes I'm here and I'm still evolving all right Pisces we're about to jump into your guys reading for April here we're gonna see what's going on around you guys please like share and subscribe Pisces okay if you guys would like a personal reading or any information on my protection services or items guys know how to hit me up at evolvingwisdom5.com the information will also be pinned at the bottom okay Right, Pisces. Okay, you guys can also check me out on my Instagram, which is also Evolving Wisdom 5. Okay, all right, let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Pisces, what do my Pisces need to know? 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 Okay, some of you guys got a lot of endings, okay? You are you guys are going to be stepping into a new relationship. You, some of you guys may have met um, a businessman here or just a man who seems like he's very grounded here. Maybe an earth energy here. Someone who's very stable comes off, okay? Yes, he's very stable and everything like that because he has a wife, okay? And I mean it. He has a wife. Either this is a spiritual wife or this is a physical, earthly wife. Meaning he went to the courthouse and got married to this woman here, okay? You guys also, and I feel like a lot of you guys may be coming out of this or trying to leave this person here, okay? Some of you guys may be going through a lot of, um, you know, uh, betrayal because of this, um, or feeling betrayed, okay? But you guys are gonna be meeting, coming, going into another relationship, and this person is coming in very fast if this person is not in your life right now. This is a very young, and this person may be older, but they're very immature, very fox, very sneaky ass, little ass motherfucker, okay? Whether this is a feminine or masculine energy, okay? This person is coming towards you fast. This is the change that is coming from. So you're leaving from someone who was more closed off with their emotions to someone who's like a little bit more free spirit, may like to go out a lot, may like to have fun. The, the person you guys are coming from, a lot of you guys are coming from is maybe more about just like their money and taking care of business and, you know, going out here and there, but not like this new person, okay? This person may they want to have more fun okay I do feel like this this is this person that you guys maybe have separated from or trying to or left behind here will be trying to come back towards you but they still they they're not going to leave this woman that they're dealing with they're gonna have always keep this woman around them okay she is a soul soulmate some of you guys are trying to move or come up out of something and there's issues around it a lot of jealousies around this you guys got um a feminine or masculine energy from the past who is stalking you it's almost like this month's exes are really really on some stalker shit okay you guys got a lot of people jealous of you guys also too um pisces Without these cards coming out here, you guys got a lot of jealousy around you. A lot of people coming, uh, female energy in your exes are very mad because you guys won't come back to them. Or you guys are not paying attention to them. Or I feel like it's almost telepathic. Like it, there was a telepathic um, type of communication before with you in this past. I mean past, past lover. Okay, but it's cut off now. And they feel it. And they're very upset. A lot of you guys, some of you guys are in the spotlight and they see it or you guys, or they just see you or hear about you around the town, how Pisces got that glow up going on and they're very upset with you. Some of you guys have been having dreams about this person taking their anger out on you because you, you, you don't want them anymore. And I don't even feel like you verbally told this. I feel like they feel it and they know it that whatever they they do, they cannot come back to you. And you guys have some a female energy laying within the dark here who's just upset with you, upset with your confidence, upset with your beauty, upset with your cockiness or whatever the freak it is, okay? And sometimes the ego is neat. When you have been through a lot of shit and you have been um, torn down or you have not had self-confidence and you build yourself up, you can come off as if you were in the ego. And that is oh fucking okay, okay? 
that is all right. If that's what you need to do to stay on your path and do what you need to do, it's okay. The ego is needed at some times. Make sure there is a balance. You just not narciss a stream narcissist, but we all have traits of narcissism, okay? It's okay for you to be think highly of yourself, okay? And don't let nobody else tell you differently here. And this is why a lot of this jealousy is coming out here um, for my Pisces here. Okay, let's get a little bit more into your energy here. What do my Pisces need to know here? You guys got a lot of ten of baskets. A lot of celebration is coming in. A lot of wealth. A lot of abundance. And that's why a lot of these people are mad. But like I said, you got somebody who smiles in your face. You guys be careful with who you have around you here. But they're really envious. It's a particular female you guys either had or, or had around you who you've known before or um, maybe you don't know. But some of you guys know this female who is very, very medicated. Uh, um, conniving and just sneaky who really doesn't like you here but you guys ain't paying attention to that shit you guys are creating a new path for yourself here focus on your money here focus on your money and i have a coins here okay manifesting coming into your power here a lot of you guys are seers a lot of my pisces are powerful okay some of you guys tell you guys um do read it and some of you guys need to <clears throat> some of you guys need to step out of just even like just the basic cards or whatever. Okay, I mean even being told that just step out of uh, you know switch things up. Some of you guys are very in tune with spirit, the ancestors. Okay, so switch it up a little bit. Okay, sometimes put the cards down and go from the, uh, the intuition. Make sure you are your body. Make sure you guys are detoxing yourself and cleansing yourself, and you're not taking on too much harsh um, situations around you. Negative energy, negative people, family, even sometimes children can be negative, and they ask need to cleanse. Okay, you guys be careful with that because it, it can disturb your channel. Okay. A lot of you guys are powerful. I always feel that with my damn Pisces. <laughs> I just did Scorpio's reading. And oh my God, Scorpio reading was the darkest I have did this month. It's so, so depressing. So I was like, let me go to uh, Pisces. I know Pisces is about to uh, lift me up. I don't know what is it about y'all energy. I don't know if it's because it's my rising or whatever. But you guys fucking just give me that. Like, you guys are, whoever get my viewers, y'all are some powerful ass fucking sisters. I know, I feel like it's a lot of women, okay? Y'all some powerful ass sisters. But y'all are attracting money here. Look at this lodestone, this lotus stone here, okay? You guys been feeding energy. You guys been feeding money. It's flowing in towards you. Money is flowing in. Can nobody stop that? And that's why there is a lot of jealousy around you guys. Some, some, you guys had a lot of people, I feel like, who's been trying to mimic you. Or want to be like you. Okay. You know that it's only one of you. Okay. I don't know why people just won't be happy of who they are. Okay. Like I said. Some of you guys have been really channeling. Some of you guys may have teachers. Or you may have a teacher coming in. Someone to teach you. Okay. You guys. Um, listen to your intuition. Okay, you guys also be careful of false people trying to come in and act like they are got your back. Because some people want to use you for your gifts. Some people want to sneak sneak around and act like they cool or they got information or they can they are gifted and everything so they can use you for your gifts. Okay? And Pisces, we not we're not stupid. We 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 can pick up on that shit really quick. We may not say anything, but we'll pick up on that real quick. So be careful. But there is someone coming in who wants to teach you here. Someone who also has the sight. They see the gifts in you. They see what they see, um, see beyond what you think you are. Okay. Some of you guys may be under um, a mentor. Okay. So let's see here. What am I crazy? Need to know here. Yeah. Like I said, you, you guys got a fucking abusive, crazy, narcissistic, troubling um, ex-lover. And I feel like there's somebody else coming in also who's also troubling, who wants to. And see, so you guys, be careful. We're going to talk about the more of the spiritual side. Sometimes energy comes in to throw you off your path. Okay? There's like traps sometimes set in to see if you're going to take the bait. Okay? If you get a, a, a feeling that something's not right. 
it is most likely is not um, Pisces, okay? Like I said before, when I was channeling you guys' energy, you got some bitch-ass fucking female, and I mean what I say, okay? She's a bitch. She's a fucking bitch, okay? And you got a lot of people talking, a lot of women. I feel like this is feminine. It could be masculine, okay? But I'm talking about the 3D realm. This is how I can explain feminine and masculine. But it's really no way to really describe it, okay? Because women can be more dominant and more nonsense type of energy too. So there's no way to describe masculine and feminine. But for my viewers and for the sake of the video, I'm feeling like feminine here. Look at this bitch. Look at all these people back here talking. Running their mouth, talking about you and everything. But there's one particular female upset mad like fuck pisces i can't stand her look at her she thinks she cute look at her driving her car look at her thinking she got views look at her doing her thing or whatever fucking mad jealous envious sitting back conjuring shit against you because she ain't got shit else to do and some of you guys ain't really paying attention so y'all don't give two shits y'all in your own world but just be aware that this bitch is sitting back and it's other people too but there's just one particular one who's just look at her got her arms folded i i picked that up very strongly for you guys and i really just don't feel like you guys are like whatever shit let that let her she's always been there she's always been there here okay Okay, you guys, I have a lot of court in here. You guys, make sure you get some rest, okay? Make sure you take appreciation for what is going on around you at this moment. There's a lot of gifts from the universe that have been bestowed up on you. But make sure, yeah, you put your hard work in. But learn, learn how to take uh, a, a breaks and everything. And even I have to do, I have to do that. I do that more often now, even though I do work outside of the videos and everything i still have to not feel guilty for taking a break and recharging myself okay sometimes everybody ain't gonna understand it okay some of you guys like our readers or maybe of spiritual healers and people get all upset when you ain't just constantly going and gotten it get have that shit done look you gotta take care of yourself first okay you have to take care of yourself or you're no good to other people if you don't take care of yourself okay just to let you guys know that. I know you guys are manifesting out here, okay? Like I said, a lot of you guys are manifesting out here, holding on to a lot of luck is coming in with your finances here. I just feel, feel people are feeling your glow up, especially past lovers and this female energy who's really envious of you. And she can, she can be great too, but in her own way. But, but still, she want to take your shine. She want to take your energy. Somebody has really, really, really been trying to take your energy here. They want the spotlight. Look at this. She's even coming in. She's coming out. She's been trying to conjure up some shit here. She's been trying to. She's been trying to here. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, let me. I got all these cards out. One second, uh, Pisces. get into your money here see what's going on okay and, and, and the crazy part is is that look if you have a path especially if it, if you're on the path of healing and bringing understanding to people in your heart and you're really truly in your, nobody can stop that nobody can stop that okay she's only setting up karma for herself i just feel like it's a female and i feel like you guys know it Okay, there is a new relationship coming in here, okay? There is that past lover who is looking in on, on at you here. A lot of happiness around your finances here that's coming towards you. Make sure you guys are putting up your money, okay? You guys will always still have that jealousy is coming towards your way, of course, here. Okay, I just, I don't feel like I have to talk to you guys much about a lot of my evolved Pisces, okay? I know when we're younger, Pisces can be more because we're ruled. Pisces is ruled by Neptune, which is the illusion um, planet, okay? But there's a lot of beauty. It's like Pisces have one foot in the spiritual realm and one foot in this realm, okay? You guys know how to operate in both realms here, okay? But especially in my evolved Pisces here, okay? You guys, I really don't feel like I have to tell you guys to be really careful with the relationship. I feel like you guys are not jumping in. 
so quick. Some of you guys may, okay? Some of you guys may still be learning, going through learning lessons through your relationship, and that's okay, okay? But I just feel like a lot of you guys are just like, you're really taking your time. And don't say you guys, please, you guys, don't cut yourself off from love because you have been through a whole bunch of bullshit with a custom relationship, okay? Because you're, you're a boss now, okay? You're not stupid. You're not, you're aware, okay? You're very aware. Everybody deserves a chance. Everybody deserves that um, clean slate. You don't put what you didn't been through in the past on people who new people who have come in. Okay, let them show you who they are. Why are you taking your time and they're spoiling you and taking you out and getting that Pisces energy because it should be a blessing to even be in your presence, okay? And that's what I'm talking about being in the ego, okay? You should put yourself on a pedestal. Why? Because a lot of you Pisces deserve it. You guys have given, you have given and given, and now it is time for you to be to be the receiver, okay? Put yourself on a pedestal because a lot of you guys are fucking beautiful out here. Mm. Pisces. Pisces. These lovers got other people. We're going to get get more into the lovers and more into your mid-April um, love spread here and see what the minds is going on. But I'm just telling you, somebody is upset. Some of you guys, like I said, been having dreams about this person. Dreams about this um, ex-ex lover, like from the past, who's really upset with you and mad, angry. And let they ask, they're reaping their karma. They're reaping their karma. They're reaping their fucking karma. And it's a good feeling. It is. It is a good feeling because you know, you can just sit back and know that you're okay and you've been through your life lessons and you have been through all the um, things that you needed to go through and learned a lot and you went through your own karma, your pain and your hurt and everything and this person didn't get it. But now they get to see how great Pisces, what they had and now they can never get that Pisces energy you back. They can get another Pisces, but your energy is totally different and they see that now. They can never get that, ty that type of bond or that type of um, love and loyalty that you gave them back. They'll never get that. Never get that, okay? Let's see. I'm going to get a message here from the ancestors here, Pisces. I just, I don't know. I, like I said, I, you guys readings, I wish I got more views from you guys. I'm not worried. Eventually it will later on down the line or whatever, but I'm happy for the ones that I do have the views from or whatever. Whoever you guys are out there, I really appreciate you guys. I just, like I said, you guys energy always. I don't care if there's negative. It's just you guys are so positive. And if you are, you are, guys, are you and my Tauruses, but mainly my Pisces, mm, y'all energy is just so yummy. And I say this a lot, you guys, because I really feel it. Your, your energy is so fucking yummy. It is. I just want to eat you guys up, okay? You guys got the world at your hands. Look at this. You guys got the world coming towards you guys here. Like, you guys are coming, like I said, coming from a lot of um, burdens, okay? A lot of holding on to things that no longer serve you. And I feel like you guys are just releasing that shit. Like, mm-mm. No more. You got your pilot because you found the lights. You found your son here. And you guys did this. You guys did this transformation. Okay, let's see here. Yep, marching to the beat of your own drum in your own world. Ain't giving two shits about nobody. Okay, because you know you're protected. You know you're divinely guided. And you know nobody can't step, can't, can't step in front of you and do shit. They can try all they want. And that's why they mad. That's why they mad. And they're going to stay mad. Big mad. Okay? All the celebration coming in for you. Look at this. Pisces. Okay? Like I said, Pisces, don't close yourself off. We are here to be loved. Okay? Yes, you love yourself. And that's what you guys have learned. But don't say don't close you guys self off to fucking love you're not that same pisces where you're gullible and don't know you know now you know the red flags you know when somebody in you you're very in tune now you know the bullshit you can feel it okay you're not that foolish pisces and we've all been there i have okay pisces pisces are usually suckers for love especially women Suck us for love. We love love. Love is beautiful because we know. We know love is so fucking powerful. It is. It's a very powerful energy and we know that. 
okay? Don't close yourself off from love, looking from afar, letting other people just sit there and drool over you, okay? There's people who want to just touch you, okay? Let them touch. Let them touch you, okay? But there's a Tyra moment coming for you guys, and this is a Tyra moment I feel like you guys are creating yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys have did this, have not got a lot of shit, and just like, no more. That cycle is done. I'm not going backwards. I'm over. Some of you guys are not even romantically attracted to your past anymore. Like, past relationships, some of you guys is just not, they're not your type anymore. Because I sure don't feel that way. I'm just not attracted to my past lovers at all. I mean, you know, they have their purpose and everything. But I'm just like, ooh. What was I thinking? Oh, my gosh. Like, look at me. And look at them. <laughs> okay. Be careful. Devilish energy. I feel like this is in the relationship. Like I said, we're looking at it from a spiritual point instead of the just with the eyes here. Sometimes... There's certain energies that come around you just to throw you off your path, okay? So be aware of that here. Sit on your money, Pisces. You got money flowing through. Sit down on that money, okay? Save for the future. Take advantage of what's going on now. There's a lot of crisis going on. There's a lot of uh, almost a recession going on. Take advantage of that. There's things you can do to take advantage of that, okay? All right? Heartbreak. Some of you guys are coming from heartbreak and thinking about the worst case scenario here but you guys are really going to be standing in your power here and i just see a lot of money coming in i'm just be honest i see abundance yes 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 wisdom and everything but i'm talking about money y'all some of y'all know y'all shit some of y'all own y'all shit and going to stay on your shit and this is what is going to be trying to stop you people are wanting to stop this from coming in look at this woman tending to her seeds here rebirthing herself growth financial abundance is coming in towards you here not taking it taking no more of the extra nonsense okay all right pisces please like share and subscribe you guys okay i really hope that um resonated with you guys you know what i forgot to tell you i forgot to give you guys a ancestor card i apologize pisces Let's see i just i don't know i feel like you guys don't need this <laughs> I always feel like my Pisces don't need that much. Okay. Okay. Prayer, okay? Hope and prayer. A lot of you guys have been praying, asking for, and everything's been answered. Okay? Like, you guys are connected divinely to the source. And you know that. You know you are divinely careful with your thoughts, Pisces, because you're manifesting. Anything you want, anything you're lacking, you can have it. Okay? You guys understand that. Your ancestors are behind you. You guys are highly protected. Keep going, Pisces. You guys always get a good read from me. Okay, I don't really feel like you guys can really be touched. It's just, it's divine energy. Some of you guys came into this world with divine spiritual protection around you because you guys are healers. You are healers out here. And so you're needed to raise the vibrate, vibrate, I can't even talk, vibration of this world. Okay? So there's no one who can fuck with that, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys know that. Whatever culture you are, wherever race you are, it's just you are you and you, you are protected, okay? All right, Pisces, this is Evolving Wisdom, and yes, I'm here, and I'm still evolving.